Welcome to Siva Education RT module. The goal of this tutorial is to help you familiarize yourself with Siva Education modeling software. A simple case relative to a radiographic inspection is proposed and explained in detail. The setting up of a simulation follows a standard workflow process. The different steps in the setup of the simulation are always the same, regardless of the problem you want to solve. The setting up of a model consists of the following steps. First, define the specimen to be inspected. Then, define the parameters related to the source. Choose a detector and define its geometry. Define the positioning of the source and the detector. Define the defect if needed. Define the IQI if needed. And define the options for the calculation. Now let's see how it works. Open Siva RT by clicking on RT, then on RT Simulation. Choose an initial configuration, for example planar specimen, gamma ray source, film, and then click on OK. Once Siva RT is opened, you have access to the different menus that you will use to describe the configuration. The configuration itself can be visualized in a 3D view. First, define the specimen by clicking on the Specimen menu. A new window appears, in which you will define the geometry of the specimen and its material. To define the geometry of the specimen, you have to select an item in the drop-down list. Select a planar specimen, then modify the thickness of the specimen to 35 mm. You will see that the 3D view is instantly refreshed when you modify the dimensions of the specimen. Then, define the material of the specimen. To do so, select the Material tab. Choose Aluminum in the Material Library. You can reach it by clicking on the Folder icon. Load the material to update the configuration. Once this is done, you will define the source by clicking on the Source menu. A new window will open, in which you will select the type of source, define its geometry and its physical parameters. You have the possibility to simulate X-ray or gamma-ray sources by selecting the chosen option. Select X-ray. The General tab will allow you to describe the geometry of the source. In that case, key in a radius of 3 mm and a conical opening angle of 9 degrees. The Parameters tab will allow you to define the physical characteristics of the source. Key in a value of 10 mA for the intensity. Then, select a spectrum of acceleration voltage equal to 100 kV by loading it from the library accessible through the folder icon. When you click on Load, the selected spectrum appears in the Parameters tab. Once this is done, you have to parameter the detector. To do so, click on the Detector menu. You will have access to a new window, in which you will define the type of detector, its geometry, and add a filter if necessary. Silver films and image plates can be modeled by selecting an item in the drop-down list. In our case, we will model a silver film. We will choose a Kodak T200 film from the library. The geometry of the detector will not be modified. Select the Filter tab. You can add or remove the filter by clicking on Add a filter. Here, we will not simulate any filter, so untick the Add a filter option. You can see that the 3D view is refreshed. You have defined the source and the detector. Now you will define their positioning. To do so, click on the Inspection menu. Then select Source to modify the positioning of the source. The parameters corresponding to the source are defined here. The coordinates of the source along the z-axis will be minus 1000 mm. The other coordinates are not modified. Now we will modify the positioning of the detector. Click on Detector, then modify the value along the z-axis from 101 mm to 36 mm. You can also model a flow in your configuration. To do so, click on the Flow menu. You will have access to a new window, in which you will define the geometry of the flow, its material and its positioning. A flow is already modeled in that configuration. It can be removed by clicking on the cross button, 
or you can add one by clicking on the plus button. Two types of flows can be modeled in SIVA Education. In our case, it will be a spherical one. The radius of this flow will be 2 mm. The flow will be made of carbon. Select the Material tab, then click on the folder icon to browse the library of materials. Choose Carbon and click on Load. Modify the positioning of the flow as shown. The new coordinates are 20 mm along the z-axis, 90 mm along the y-axis, and 45 mm along the x-axis. Penetrometers can also be added to the configuration. To do so, click on the IQI menu. You will have the possibility to choose the type of IQI to define its material and its positioning in the specimen. For this tutorial, Wire's IQI will be chosen. According to the thickness of the specimen, the wire 9 must be seen, so select W6 IQI. Select the Material tab and define the material of this IQI as aluminum using the Saiva library available by clicking on the folder icon. Switch to the Positioning tab to modify the positioning of the IQI. The coordinates along the Y axis will be modified from 90 mm to 80 mm. All the input data is defined and we will now parameter the computation options. To do so, click on the Options menu. You will have the possibility to take into account the blur of the source by selecting the Analytical option. You can define the options of the detector by switching to the Detector tab. We will take into account the granularity of the film and you will define a fog value of 0.2. In the third tab, the general options for the whole computation can be defined. Key in a value of time exposure of 200 seconds and add some photonic noise. Finally, you can run the simulation by clicking on Run. Thank you for watching this tutorial of SIVA Education RT Module.